Okay, well, welcome to our weekly coffee chat. We typically are live streaming this into our private community, but for whatever reason, Zoom is not allowing me to live stream it into any group. So I'm on our page for now and we'll have to figure it out uh, later. So uh, for those of you, I think we've got about 9,000 followers on our Menopause Reset page. So hello to you. Uh, Nicole Scott here, holistic nutritionist, a new yoga teacher, a breathwork facilitator, author, and every week, Melissa and myself typically get together and we do a coffee chat. Uh, the theme of April is transformation. And I wanted to dive in today to talk a little bit more about what does transformation look like for you? Uh, maybe grab a piece of pa uh, piece of paper and a pen and write down that question. What does transformation look like for you? Has there been a time in your life that it really stood out like, wow, that was a big transformation. And I know for us as women, sometimes we think, well, transformation has to be like big and it might be like a body transformation, like a physical transformation. But there are so many other levels of transformation that I want to talk to you about today. So, yes, a lot of people will post their physical body transformation. I was this and now I'm that. And they create a whole brand um, around that, a whole message, a whole lifestyle. That's incredible. I love it. Um, but what I want to talk to you is going even deeper than the transformation. You know, depending on what age you're at, um, I bet you you have gone through a lot of transformation over the years but you kind of forget, or you forget like the messy middle, or you're like, oh my gosh, like that did happen, but I totally forgot about it. So make this time an opportunity to maybe, you know, journal about it, you know, think about your life, think about the points that you ended up pivoting. And it took you down the rabbit hole, it took you down a different path, but that was the path that you were probably meant to be at. You were listening to the nudges, you were like, yep, um, sign me up for that. It scares me, but I'm doing it anyway. So I want to just take you through a little bit of my own experience of like connecting to transformation because I was thinking about it this morning about, you know, what does transformation look like for you? When have been some, you know, major pivots in your life that really um, set you on a totally different path? So when I think about a couple of the big transformations that would have been when I accepted a job out of university and a transfer to Toronto from Alberta. That was big. It was scary. I didn't know anybody other than like a long distance cousin um, who I saw like twice that I was like, oh my gosh, I'm saying goodbye to my friends. I'm saying goodbye to my families. I'm starting a new career. I'm in my mid twenties. And I just said yes. And why that was so important was it literally got me on this, this different path, this career. And I found my husband at the Thailand. We're divorced now, but I found my husband. We had two beautiful daughters together. And that was a season and a chapter. And that was perfect. It was what needed to happen. Um, I'd say another big transformation is when my daughter, um, Ella, was born. And by the time she was nine months old, she had a ton of food allergies, right? Ton of food allergies. And I decided to go back to school and become a holistic nutritionist and leave a career of 10 years that I worked so hard for. And I went on a different path, listen to the nudges, listen to my passion, transformation, different career. And here I am today still in the field of wellness and healthy lifestyle. And I'm so glad that I leaned into the fears. Is there something that's on your heart and mind right now that you're like, Oh, I really want to do this, but I'm scared. Ooh, I really want to go over here, but, and you're using the, but, and then fill in the blank. Well, this is your opportunity. You know, we talk to women in midlife, women that are going through perimenopause to menopause to postmenopause, and we're all about feel the fear and do it anyways. What if, what if it could be even better than you could imagine? Think about if you woke up every day, what if it could be better than you could even imagine? And I can't even imagine where my life would be if I was always saying, no, I can't, it's too hard, it's too scary. 
I don't know what my life would look like today. And I don't even want to go down that, that path. All I can say is that it's important to do brave things. And it's important to continue to do the brave things at, I think, at all ages, right until the end, the brave decision, right? To forgive, to love, um, to reflect, to do, to experience all of that. Um, another big transformation then for me was um, having to go through a divorce. That was hard because I was the one that pulled the trigger on that. I was like, oh, this is so scary. Um, it was so hard and I didn't know if I was going to get through it. Transformation, getting that on the other side. And then you get there and you're like, oh my gosh. And you see things differently and you see things clearly. Uh, another transformation is when I decided to get rid of my uh, dye that I was doing every two to three weeks and move into gray hair at the age of 47. That was scary. Writing a book, that was scary. Uh, posing naked on the cover, that was scary. Like all of these things, buying a condo in Mexico, oh my gosh, that was scary. Risk taking, what if? And I, I, I feel like every time in my life that I've done something out of my comfort zone, a little bit scary, a lot scary, it allows me to keep pushing the boundary of my own limitations in my mind. Because then it reminds me, I can do hard things. I can do scary things. I'm not too old to do those scary things. And so as we, you know, finish up the month of April with a theme of transformation, I'd really like you to think about, you know, where are you in your life where maybe you need to do a transformation? Is it an overhaul? Is it a tweaking? What, what is on the other side of that? And yes, it can be very, very scary, but I can tell you, my friends, when you sit in silence, when you are quiet, when you get clarity, maybe you go for a walk in the forest, when you have that time to just be and allow that message to come through, we all have the message inside. We just have to get quiet and still to listen. So happy April happy transformation, write it down, do the brave thing, and just imagine that it could potentially be better than you could even imagine. Thanks for tuning in.